LG Houses is writing the history of living spaces in Korea with distinguished products and service. With industry-leading products, advanced technology, and global designs, we are creating pleasant living spaces and a more serene lifestyle for people around the world. Our interior films have a variety of applications. Our LG Houses interior film is especially easy to use, change and repair, greatly reducing construction time and increasing economic efficiency. It is easy to install because it has an adhesive coating on the back surface and uses an air-free technique that prevents bubbling. It is resistant to impact, scratching, temperature and humidity and can help generate creative and special unique spaces through its variety of patterns, colors, and textures. Let's take a look at the process of applying the LG House's interior film. First, we must prepare the proper materials and tools for a flawless application. Before we begin, we must prepare the plaster putty, putty knife, sandpaper, sander, brush, and tape measure necessary for pre-production, cutting board, rolling cutter, and metal ruler for measuring and cutting, primer, thinner, mixing container, beaker, brush, and plastic sheeting for application, and film, squeegee, cutter and industrial dryer necessary for attaching the film. The process begins by checking the adhesive surface and taking measurements. The room temperature must be maintained at 15 to 25 degrees Celsius, the ideal temperature for adhesion of the interior film. When measuring the adhesive surface, you must remove all obstructions and be sure to take into account its direction. Although similar in shape, they can have varying sizes, so we recommend taking measurements of numerous surfaces. The putty process will smooth out the adhesive surface. Use the putty to fill in holes, nail marks, dents, and plywood connections. You may move on to the next step after checking with your hand to see if the putty is completely dry. You can send the filled spot for a clean finish. Sand the surface that will be attached using sandpaper and use a brush to clean it off. The narrow section, bend and groove, of the adhesive surface must be sanded down enough so that the film will have better adhesion. Using a sander on a large surface will help keep the surface plump and smooth. After sanding, you should dilute the primer. Mix the primer and thinner at a 1 to 1 ratio and stir well with a stick. Water is used as a water-based thinner and lacquer thinner as an oil-based thinner. You will have optimal adhesion using LG Houses' primer. In winter, 
a greater concentration of primer is recommended. Apply the primer in order to attach the interior film. Cover the floor and walls with plastic sheeting beforehand to prevent the primer from falling onto the surfaces. Spread the primer evenly on the adhesive surface. On small surfaces and corners, apply concentrated primer using a small brush and use a large brush or roller for larger surfaces. Pay particular attention to puttied areas. It is helpful to apply the primer in the direction of the film's grain. Cross sections of wood have a higher rate of absorption, so two to three coats of primer are necessary. Drying time is at least two hours for water-based and one hour for oil-based primers. But you should make sure to check for complete dryness as drying times can change according to site conditions. Next is the process of cutting the interior film. Use a rubber mat or the carpet as a surface and use a rolling cutter for a clean and easy cut. After measuring the dimensions of the adhesive surface, cut it, leaving a 3 to 5 centimeter margin. The large marking on the back of the film signifies 10 centimeter increments and the small marking one centimeter. The width of the film is 1,220 millimeters, so cutting from the widest side reduces wasting of film. The second round of sanding is performed to eliminate lumps that may have formed when applying the primer. First, Check to see that the primer is dry. Smoothen the adhesive surface with sandpaper and remove debris with a brush. Move on to the next step after performing a thorough check with your hand for any debris. The next step is attaching the interior film. Peel 10 to 30 centimeters of the film's liner. And lay it on the surface to determine the exact position. Align the top and side and slowly peel the liner while using a squeegee to compress every bit of the film onto the surface. Use the squeegee to make sure bent areas of the film have clean angles. Remove excess with a cutter and carefully finish off the corners to prevent any flaws. Using a squeegee for angles, grooves and surfaces and using felt for larger surfaces will help adhere the film to the surface effectively. When attaching film to the center groove area, first leave enough room equal to the width of the groove. Cut off the corners and cut the film on the groove diagonally. Use a squeegee to attach the film on the horizontal area inside the groove and clean off the protruding part of the horizontal cut surface and attach it. Insert the vertical part of the film into the groove and finish it off by cutting off excess 
so that there are no overlaps in the film. For a cleaner finish, work from top to bottom or bottom to top so that the cut will not be visible. If there are overlapping areas of film on the angles or grooves, you must apply primer to prevent lifting of the film. In the case of overlapping surfaces, use plastic sheets to apply primer and wait for it to dry completely before attaching the film. When working with treated products that were overlapped, you should apply the water-based primer PM04 made especially for LG House's interior film and wait for it to dry completely. When working on bookshelves, it is best to wrap the border with film in one application. Make sure to crease the inside corners of the shelf into perpendicular angles using a squeegee. The procedure for doors is similar to wall surfaces. And you can use this same general method after dismantling the door. When working on doors, tilting it at a 45 degree angle before cutting prevents the door from sliding and the film from lifting. In the case of fire escapes and steel doors, you must sand debris in the welded area and remove all other contaminants with thinner or alcohol. You can attach the film to rounded surfaces such as desks or tables by cutting the film longer so that the film wraps around the surface. And using a dryer to pull the film while wrapping the film. At this point, make sure the surface you want to attach does not stick to other surfaces you don't want to attach. Secure the tip to the bottom surface using a squeegee. Overlap the film again in order to prevent contraction. And finish it off by attaching film to remaining areas. This is the procedure for attaching film to structures with lights. First, carefully attach the film using the general method to the entire surface. It is most efficient to cover the entire area with lights all at once. You can shape the film around the area with lights using your fingers. Cut the excess and reassemble the lights and accessories to finish it off. Once you're finished, you should check your work. You should make a thorough check of whether the angles are straight. The lines have been cut straight. 
whether there are any areas that haven't been cut completely, and whether the edges of the film are properly finished. You can see that the space is more beautiful and pleasant as a result of the interior film. With outstanding quality and creative designs, LG House's interior film is used to finish interior surfaces of hotels, chain stores, office spaces, public agencies, financial institutions, educational facilities, hospitals, wedding halls, residential spaces, and transport vehicles. We command a leadership position by initiating exceptional trends in architectural design through luxury, distinction, and customer value. Like nature, like people, happy living spaces. LG Houses.